Ivy and Kevin, today we are going to explore the topic, All the World is a Stage, for the Game of Life. How will you start your study on the topic? I will do a Google search with the two phrases in the topic. I will start with YouTube, to view some videos before doing a Google search for all other types of learning resources. Very good. Please do it, and we shall discuss later, the results of your research. Both of you have to select and share at least one video, and one result from your Google search. Joanna, there are so many videos to view and choose. How do I decide? Yes, it is the same with a Google search. Good question. You choose the ones that you find interesting, and excites you, since we want to know your passion. Welcome back. We shall first discuss your findings on the phrase, all the world is a stage. Ivy, what did you find out? I found in the Red Frost video, that the phrase is from a speech in the play, as you like it by William Shakespeare. What is the speech about? It is a part of Shakespeare's metaphor, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Shakespeare compares the drama of everyone's life, as similar to a stage performance by each one of us. Very interesting. Can you please explain? We play different roles at different stages of our lives. Now, I am playing the role of a kid in school, and you are playing the mentor role. Just like a play, we have an entry and exit. Kevin, can you please add to Ivy's summary of the metaphor? Yes. The cynic video I watched shows the actor, Benedict Cumberbatch, appearing in scenes showing the seven ages of man. The metaphor tells us that we have seven major acts to play in our lives, at different times of our lives. What are those acts? They are as follows. We enter the world as an infant. After that, we grow up to be a kid going to school. Then we become young adults attracted to one another. After that, our next passion is to build a career and reputation for ourselves. We then settle down to a respectable position in society, to enjoy the fruits of our labor. By the sixth age, our physical and mental abilities begins to fade. The final stage, before exit, is second childishness, when we need to be cared for by others again. Ivy and Kevin, excellent work. I have also watched a video by Alina. Below is an illustration from the video, showing the seven ages of man, compared to the image Kevin presented earlier on lifelong learning. You can see that the last three ages is longer now, due to increased life expectancy. The image below is an illustration I prepared, to show the entry and exit of people, into the real physical world of matter. The physical world is like a stage, for a person to play or act out their different roles in the game of life, as Kevin listed earlier. Ivy, what did you find out about the game of life? I found in the video by Rodriguez about a book, The Game of Life and How to Play It, published in 1925 by Florence Chen. She was born in 1871 and died in 1940. The following is an extract from the video. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. This means that whatever man sends out in words or deed, will return to him. What he gives, he will receive. If he gives hate, he will receive hate. If he gives love, he will receive love. If he gives criticism, he will receive criticism. If he lies, he will be lied to. If he cheats, he will be cheated. All power is given man, through right thinking, to bring his heaven upon his earth, and this is the goal of the game of life. The simple rules are fearless faith, non-resistance and love. Ivy, can you please explain? The speaker says that in life we have choices, and they create the results in our life in the external real world. Interesting, you are stating a connection between the choice made by your inner person with the result in the physical real world. Yes, he says that in life there are things and circumstances that we can control, and others we can't. 
He states that most people see the results in their life as an effect of circumstances, and only a few people see them as a cause arising from actions that they take, in the areas of their life that are within their control. Can you please explain, what is the goal of the game of life, and the three simple rules? I think the goal of the game is to make the player or actor in the game, become aware that they have the power within themselves. To change the way they view the reality of the circumstances in their life. In this way, it will allow them to create the results that they want in their life on earth. Whatever that may be, that will make their life on earth seems like they are in heaven. Excellent, what about the three simple rules? Rule number one, fearless faith means that we must have the faith, to overcome our fear to change the way we view our reality. It is the right thinking that is needed. Rule number two, non-resistance means that we must adapt to circumstances that are beyond our control, and take responsibility to act on those that are within our control. Rule number three, love means that we must learn to love ourselves. that is we can be comfortable being alone with our inner person. This will give us the inspiration to do the things that we love to do in the real world, to make heaven on earth. Kevin, what did you find out about the game of life? I found in the short video by the Gamified Life, a simple animation of the game of life. The video explains that we start our life with no control over our race, sex, environment and family we are born into. This includes the amount of attributes like vitality, strength, agility, intelligence, wisdom and luck, which are all randomly determined. Very interesting. What else did you learn from the video? Depending on the type of parents and environment the baby is born into, and the items the baby is exposed to during the development years, the numbers in the attribute table can vary. That can explain why some people born in poor countries to poor parents, may not get the basic 3R education, and items like internet access. Their luck attribute number will be very low compared to Jeff, the grad student. What did you learn from the video? The video also explains that there are actions we can take to improve ourselves. Some of them are affinities that we are born with, like our interest and ability to paint, write, sing and dance. Others are the choices we make, like taking risk, being lazy, or getting equipped to improve ourselves. The key conclusion is that we have the controller in our hand, to play the game of life. Do you agree that the physical world is like a stage, where you can play the game of life? Yes, I learn a lot from the video about the goal, and the three simple rules for success in the game of life. I agree. The controller is in our hands to play. We may not have a lucky start in life, but with the right thinking as described by Ivy, we can change the way we view our reality, and take actions to change it. The table below shows the entry and exit years of three heroes, famous people from the past. They have fulfilled their personal legends and made their contributions to the physical world. Ivy and Kevin, we hope you will be able to do the same. Let me introduce you to Matthew. He is another mentor at the Pekinok Re Academy. Hello Kevin and Ivy. I am Matthew. Welcome to Pekinok Re Academy. I will explain to you later, how you can also embark on your personal hero's journey and fulfill your personal legend, during your time in this world. We have just discussed the YouTube video part of your Google search. Please share with us one interesting item from your serendipitous Google search. Kevin, please Google the definition of the word, serendipity. Yes, it is the instance or phenomenon of finding valuable, or agreeable things not sought for. I found a YouTube video, serendipitously, that highlights the importance of having the right thinking to create your heaven on earth. You will find that there will be many instances of this type of discovery in your Google search, and in fact in your daily life, if you are curious and are aware. Let me share with you what I found from the TEDx video on everyday serendipity. The speaker shares the following quote from Proust, about having new eyes or right thinking. 
to discover new ways of looking at a landscape or an existing situation that you have no control. He defines everyday serendipity as discovering what you need, while you are often looking for what you want now. The three thinking skills he uses to make every day a learning opportunity, and for a happy life are, be resilient, be optimistic and be appreciative. Ivy, can you please share your serendipitous discovery from your Google search? Yes, I discovered a website called, Literary Devices when I Google the phrase, All the World's a Stage. I discovered literary devices, and their two aspects, literary elements and literary techniques. I discovered that there are so many aspects of the English language and literature that I did not know. I discovered the elements of a play, what they are, and saw examples of how they are used. I also discovered poems like A Time to Believe, and the analysis of their meanings. I have discovered a love and an interest for English literature that I did not know I had. Kevin, what serendipitous discovery did you make? I discovered an interesting anime series about the life of a girl, called Violet Evergarden. I found it from a link in the playlist of the Gamified Life video author. The link introduced me to the soothing music, in the Violet Evergarden anime series. Can you tell us something about Violet Evergarden, and what you found interesting about her? Violet works as an auto-memory doll, a ghostwriter, that specializes in writing letters that capture their clients' emotions. The story is about Violet's journey to understand and experience human emotions, through her work as an auto-memory doll. One of the biggest mysteries for her is to understand the meaning of the phrase, I love you, that was spoken to her by her guardian, Gilbert. I found a video by Kevin Naya that explains what is unique about the story. It is about how a person can learn to understand the many facets of human emotions and how it can change one's life forever. I can see that you have found a new passion and interest in anime. Yes, Joanna. I even found another video by Kaze talks about what is unique about anime and how it touches one's emotions. Keep it up, Kevin and Ivy. That is what we like to see in our students finding a passion in their learning. I would like to summarize what we have learned today. The physical world we live in is like a stage for us to play a game of life. There is a limited playtime of about 80 to 100 years. All of us are like on a hero's journey with a personal legend to fulfill. We need to connect with our inner person to find out what it is. The controller is in our hands to play the game. The goal and rules for success in the game have also been defined. If you are curious and enjoy learning new things, then Google search learning is serendipitous. You will discover new passions and find new ways to express your creativity on the world stage. The world is a stage for you to actualize your dream. I would like to end today's session by showing you a video clip about the incredible journey that we are taking through space on our spaceship Earth. This is you on Earth's surface. You will leave a trail as you move together with the spaceship Earth. This is how the trail around the sun will look if the sun is stationary. According to the Big Bang Theory the sun is also moving along an expansionary path, so the trail the Earth moves around the sun is actually a spiral. The path we take on this journey through space is unique. Our parents bought the ticket for our seat or entry on this 80 to 100 year spaceship ride. This is how you, on Earth's surface, are moving through the universe aboard Spaceship Earth. Okay, now, stop. This is roughly 100 years of Earth's movement through space. This path we've traced, from where we began here, is the path you will take through the universe in your lifetime. You didn't buy a ticket for this ride. Your parents signed you up without asking. But nonetheless, it is quite literally the ride of your life. 